the Hoshi problem is that they're uh, they're bringing up stuff about Hoshi that I'm going. The show is just making this up about Hoshi yeah. at this point for this episode. There's Completely, the only yeah. thing we know about Hoshi is the fear thing from the early season where she was afraid to be out there and she wasn't sure if she was ready to be out there, which they talked about for two episodes and then it fell by the wayside. That's the only thing that I feel that this guy is referencing that I have any frame of reference for. His other stuff where he's like, you always feel alone on the Enterprise. You don't have any friends on the Enterprise. You cry at night on the Enterprise. I just, I'm watching it going, this is all totally made up for this episode and I'm not buying any of this stuff yeah. that he's saying. So this has no impact on me. Imagine well, if Hoshi was a character that we knew who this guy was bringing up stuff that was actually true to the character. I'd say this episode yeah. works better. I was going to say, to be fair, we don't see her a lot, maybe because she keeps to herself so much on the show. True. And she's I do, crying so much. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get into that too. But would you agree with that? Or like, is, oh, totally. is there a bigger problem with the Hoshi storyline than this, than that? Um, no, I think that's probably, cause I mean, that's the, the, the way that he's going after her is by preying on all of this stuff that is, uh, you know, you could have said anything and, and it, it, it's equally as valid as the stuff he says because we've never seen any of this stuff exhibited through her character. So it's like I guess it's I guess it's to her credit that she can play off of it and make it seem kind of believable. But yeah, it's not it's not anything that we've we've learned about her before or they've intimated or anything. Um, and I, I I don't like it when stories do that because I do feel like it's very artificial. Um, and I. I especially in especially in a story like this where it's so different and so off the ship uh it makes it really difficult to care about what's going on because you have no frame of reference for any of this character stuff they're slinging at you well i mean so much of his so much of the tarkin's point depends on him making a good case to hoshi that the audience would believe is a good case right. to stay right. there and that because it's all made up you don't have any connection to him making a good argument for her to stay. It just feels right. completely fake and made up for the scene. And she's going like, yes, that's, that's true. I, I was very sad as a child. And it's like, well, I don't really believe this. Like if he had brought up the, if, if he had brought up the episode where she was turning invisible, I would have felt more of a connection to it than the, the, this just sort of made up off the cuff stuff. And I think it's the, the Tarkin Hoshi storyline really dies for me because unlike beauty and the beast, I never feel a good reason as to why she would be convinced to stay. And the right. curing the Zindi weapon isn't a good enough thing. It has to be a Hoshi centric reason for her to want to stay. Yeah. They, they don't, they don't do anything to make it seem like she would be inclined to stay at all. Um, they, they, they don't really make his, um, yeah. I guess he's a little bit sympathetic because he's so pathetic. Yeah. But his, his, he's not, he's not cruel, which is his. No, positive, really. he's, you know, he's, well, he's a little cruel. He's, a, I feel like if he had more time, he would have gotten there because yes. he tries to trick her at the end and stuff. And that's not cool. He's, he's, but, he's uh, manipulative, but he's not, he, he doesn't have yeah. evil ends to his, his goal is not evil in and of itself. He's not like, once I get a, a, you know, once I get her, I'm going mm -hmm. to drain her blood and create a, a weapon of Armageddon status. You know, it's something like that. There's, there's none of that. It's just he's I'm lonely and I wish someone would stay here with me. Yeah. And I, I don't think that they ever. Like the reason Beauty and the Beast works is because the Beauty and uh, Belle and the Beast spend enough time together that you see them like starting to like each other. And you get to they, learn about the man underneath the beast right, persona. Right, right. Yeah. And you don't learn that. You, you only The only time you learn about him is when she stumbles upon his graveyard full of dead ex-wives or Companions, whatever the hell the thing was. His yeah. partners, yeah. His, his, yeah uh, the, the dark secret of <laughs> Doctor Who's TARDIS is where they, they bury all the, the uh, dead companions. Yeah, it's just weird. It, there's He's just... He comes off as really pathetic, and there's no... There's nothing that makes you go, oh, you know, maybe. I mean, like the the only thing that comes close to making you think, oh, Hoshi might stay, is when he fakes being Archer and he's like, it would really help us a lot if you stayed. It's yeah, right. Like, well, I mean, I guess, I guess so. Um, yeah, it's it's a weird story. With, with I mean, 
Th- that is the point. The show is relying on Hoshi sacrificing herself to stop the Zindi weapon being enough. And yeah. I don't know why that doesn't work for me, but it doesn't. It's not really a... I think it's just because Hoshi never... St- Hoshi's so rarely seen on the show that no matter what they give her, I'm not going to really believe that that's a Hoshi characteristic. Like, sacking, sacrificing herself for the weapon... It feels like all Starfleet characters do that. It doesn't feel like a particularly Hoshi-centric thing to do, which is why I thought that his plea to her, Tarkin's plea to Hoshi, would need to be a more character-driven thing to make me convinced about it. But it didn't work either way. I, I know that they're trying to tie in the Zindi plot and the serialized episode, the serialized season plot to give the rationale for Hoshi to stay. Mm-hmm. It just it falls flat for me in the same way that the other one does, though. <laughs> 